Hello, everybody. Hope everybody is well today. Happy Thursday. Uh, today we're going to have a fun little project. And if you have uh, more than one kid, this is perfect because it's um, something really cute. You can, uh, we're going to do potato races. <laughs> anyway, it's this little potato uh, that we're going to make. And um, kids, I don't know if you can, there you see it. Anyway, the objective is, um, I didn't have anything to hold it on, so sorry, y'all. Uh, the objective is to be able to race your opponent to see whose potato wins, uh, reaches the finish line first. Um, I made a short string, and that's so that I can hold it up to the camera. But uh, if you're doing it, you want a long string. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need scissors and some color pencils of your choice. Uh, a pe regular pencil to draw out your potato and you're gonna need a straw I already used part of the straw and I didn't want to waste it throw it away so I'm gonna use what I have left and you could use a paper straw or a plastic straw that's up to you you need some tape and um, I have a double-sided sticky tape as well and I'll show you why but you don't necessarily need that but I have it um, and some string a some cardstock and a penny or a dime or something. I suggest a penny. Um, okay. Uh, start off, we're going to need our paper. Basically, you're going to draw an oval, but not an oval. That makes sense? Half circle, half oval. Let me show you. Can you see that? Let me zoom up. I hope I don't have a repeat of yesterday. I dropped my phone yesterday. We had to redo the video. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to take and do a half circle. You know, you can make it big if you want. I'm going to do this one big. This little spud was super little, but we're going to do it big this time. So I'm going to make a bigger one. So at the bottom, you're going to do a circle, big circle, or a little circle, depending on what you want. I'm doing a big spud. Why not? Spuds are cute. All right, and then once you have that bottom part of the circle, you're going to bring it up kind of like a pear shape. You know what a pear looks like? Kind of like a pear shape. You know, potatoes, I'll move these out of the way. Potatoes are any shape you want. They could be any shape. So if you want to give it like a weird, weird little shape, you can. I'm going to make mine look kind of like an oblong jelly bean kind of. You see that? All right. And then once you have that drawn, then you can take your, um, you could do marker or black pencil if you want. It's up to you or not at all. I have a dark brown, so I'm going to use a dark brown to outline it. And this is, well, that's not really too dark, is it? I need a different pencil. Give me a second here. Can you see that? Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's hard to figure out with that camera where I'm actually located on the table. Well, I thought I had a bigger... You know, the black that I have is really... Oh, here it is, I found it. Wow, that was kind of like a needle in a haystack I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I'm just gonna outline it with black first. And the pencils that I'm using is Prismacolor. I love Prismacolor. Um, color pencils. And if you don't have color pencil, you can use um, crayon or whatever. All right, once you have that done, set that aside. Oh, also I said you need pens. If you don't have an ink pen, you can use the black um, color pencil. I will, however, use the black pen for the face of my spud. Okay, so then I'm going to uh, do that now. So I'm just going to take my black pen or marker or whatever you have. I'm going to do a pen and I'm going to draw my face. So this is my spud I have now so far. Okay. And then I'm going to draw my face on. So I'm just going to give my face a little, some little oval eyes. 
with a little smiley face. Okay, color those eyes in. I'm just gonna color them in. Make them all black. What a cute little potato. All right, then what else do potatoes have? They have eye, other little eyes, right? So now I'm gonna give them little circles, little circles. So have you ever heard the term, keep your eyes peeled? I believe that has to do with potato peels. It's, it has to do with uh, potatoes. I don't know why, it's just a term that people use. All right, so now I got the potato eyes all over my potato. Next step is to color your potato. Now I have different colors of brown here. I have all different colors of brown. I also have like a golden yellow brown light color, which I really like. All right, so the outside, the um, outside of the potato or inside the outside, next to the outside line that we just drew, I'm gonna do a dark color, a dark brown, which this isn't too dark. It's more of a red brown, it looks like to me. Whatever. And I'm just gonna follow that around. This is just to give it some, a um, little bit of depth. And then I'm gonna kinda go a little lighter. So once you've got the one line done, you wanna go a little lighter around it. See how I'm doing it a little lighter? Do that. Now you can bring this out as far as you want. It's up to you how far you wanna bring this out, but we're gonna be blending it in. Blend in your potato. I'm just doing little circular motions. And then the next step, I'm gonna get a different brown. I don't know if this is darker. That's darker. I don't know if I want that. It'll be okay. I got this. Uh, now you could use yellows if you want because you know there's all different colors of potato. There's red potatoes, red russet potatoes, there's brown potatoes, there's golden potatoes, which is my husband's favorite potato because it's like a yellowy color and I like it way better. I think it tastes better. All right. Now, once you have that, then we're going to start on the next color. I'm going to go ahead and use this brown here and blend, okay? So now very lightly go over the top of the other light color pencil that you did. And then you're gonna see how it blends. Now these Prismacolors, they blend a lot better than your normal color pencil, but it's okay. Your, your Crayola color pencils blend too. It just, if you know what you're doing. I just, I use these a lot, so. You can just blend that in. So wonder what everybody's doing today. You're out of school. Unless you're homeschooled. If you're homeschooled, you are not out of school. For those of you just joining, this is a spud. We are making a, we are doing a little potato race uh, project. Which basically we're making a potato. A little spud that you can race with your friends or your siblings or whatever. Okay. All right, and now that I have that done, now I'm gonna go over it with this golden yellow color that I have. Yeah, cause you know, sometimes when you get potatoes, they're kind of green still. Yeah. So this one's not quite rotten, he's still green. Greeny yellow. He's cute. All right, and then blend him in a little bit, a little bit of blending. Very lightly. And then I'm getting real close up to the camera so you can see. I have a friend that used to work at um, City Museum in the circus area. And she actually has a potato tattoo. 
super cute. All right, so there we go. There is our potato. And now we're going to cut our said potato out. So cut it out of your paper. Try not to go over your lines too far. I don't like having extra paper, so I always cut it off and throw it away. It just annoys me. It gets in my way. And like I've always said, I like to have a clean workspace when I'm working. Now you could probably use that scrap paper for something else, but since I'm at home, I don't want to keep a bunch of little scraps around. is to take our uh, our straw and you're gonna flip your potato over and you're gonna cut your straw now I have this little one so what try to make the try to make it the same size and basically you're gonna tape your uh, straws onto your potato you gotta make sure they're kind of even okay all right, so I'm, I'm gonna have this tape right here. Tape it down. When you're done with these, if you have an Instagram, post it on Instagram and tag City Museum in it. City Museum, hey Art City, check it out. That's City Museum um, Instagram, that's the Tag, just City Museum. Okay, and then here. Just tape that on. Make sure you got it good. If you don't have it on there good, uh, it might come off. But don't cover, you don't want to cover these holes, okay? Don't cover the holes. Those got to stay open. So you could do the next step. All right, now I've got my straws on my the back of my potato. All right. And then you're going to want to take, uh, for those of you just joining, we are doing a, we're making this little potato. <laughs> you could do whatever you want. You could do snails or uh, whatever, rocket ships, robots, whatever you want to do, you can make. It don't have to be a potato, but I just thought the potato was kind of cute because, I mean, potatoes don't race. They have legs or arms. They have eyes. They have lots of eyes. Anyway, so um, this is what we're making. We're doing this little potato race thing, okay? All right, so next step is once you have these straws done, you're going to take your string that we have here. Now, the string that I did is small, and the reason I made it small is so I could show it on camera. And so this one, I want to be bigger, so I'm going to make this one longer. I don't, I'm going to make this one extremely long. That way, uh, it can be an actual race. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your string and you're going to feed it through your straw. Now, like I said earlier, you can have, you can use paper straws if you want. You don't have to use plastic straws. All right, then once you have that, all right, once you have that, you're going to take the other end and you're going to stick it through the top part, not the bottom. So the first one we did was through the bottom of the straw and out through the top. Now we're going to go through the top and out through the bottom, okay? So now how it should look, let me move my other one here. How it should look is you should have this loopy at the top, okay? And what that is, is you want to hook the loop to something. So like a door hanger, or if you have more than two people doing this, 
You can have one person hold it while the two race. But the deal is to have this attached. So I'm gonna put this over the camera here for a second so you all can see it. And then I'm gonna pull back the, oh, wait, before we get started, flip that over. That penny or that dime that you had, I'm gonna use my double side tape for this. You're gonna stick that to the back of it, okay? And the reason being is that helps to give it a little bit of weight, okay? There. Now that's the last step. All right, now let me zoom out a second so I can show you what we're doing. It looks like my potato has legs. How funny. All right, now the whole idea to this, oh good, it's attached, that's good. The whole idea to this is the pull. See that? And I, maybe if it's, if it's bigger, you might need like a nickel or a quarter or something, but the whole idea is to get your kids together to try to get the, uh, to see who, who spud reaches the finish line first, right? So that's super cute. And you could do it with rocket ships or whatever. Man, kids go crazy over these. They think they're a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do these. Anyway, so that's what I made today. We did racing spuds today. How fun. Um, if you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org and check out all the information for our tickets. Facebook, like us, any of our videos that you want to see in our archive videos that we've done throughout the past few months and so on will be on Facebook and citymuseum.org. So if you want to see another, if you want to see more, more tutorials by me, um, I have a whole bunch of them on there, months worth of them. And um, also we have videos of our bug room, slide rides, all kinds of things that we've done. And um, just go check them out. It's a lot of fun. Like them, comment on them. It's really cool. All right, until tomorrow, because today is Thursday. Tomorrow I'll be doing another show at 11 o'clock. I'll see you then. Have a great day and happy spud races.